How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. And make sure to head over to Twitch and follow me at Douglas447 with a capital D. I do stream from there time to time. And in this film review we're going to be talking about the movie based on the book Halo The Fall of Reach. That came out in 2015. So we're going to talk about positives and negatives. And then I'll give you guys my final score. So like I just said, this is based on a book. This film shows and tells that Master Chief um, was created as a Spartan on the planet Reach. Along with the rest of Blue Team. It shows Blue Team training on Reach, and why when Reach is destroyed, they return to their home, quote-unquote, and the emotional stakes and their emotional connection with the planet. The music that is in this film was excellently done. Whoever was in charge of the music department for this film did an excellent job throughout the film, and it really sets the tone and the atmosphere as to what's going on and what's to come. The animation also Fabulous. Really loved it. Um, so much better than uh, Halo Legends. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, it was really cool to see John, a.k.a. Master Chief, as a six-year-old boy able to fight and hold his own. It was also so cool. It was really cool to see John and Blue Team grow up from being six years old and becoming 13, 14, and eventually becoming full-fledged adults as the Spartan super soldiers that we all know and love. Um, this film also makes you kind of happy, and I, I know this is kind of weird for me to say, you're kind of happy that Reach is destroyed because of all the evil experiments and the um, tests and whatnot that Dr. Halsey did in order to make the Spartan program a success and what she ended up doing to 75 children. You actually care also about the people in this film that die. You have an emotional connection. Um, I enjoyed seeing Blue Team's first mission, and we also get to see the destruction of Planet Harvest as well, and we get to witness the first battle against the Covenant Army. Um, there were some decent, decent um, grunt elite jackal action against Blue Team. Um, amazing space combat. This is not a shoot 'em up, bang bang type of film. Um, this film's only like an hour long, so this is a primarily a backstory for John and Blue Team to inform the audience that not only was Cortana created on Reach, that we we learned that in the Halo Reach video game, but Chief was basically transformed from a normal human into a super spartan soldier on the planet reach as well so this isn't a shoot 'em up bang bang there is some action in the last 10 15 minutes but if you're looking for a shoot 'em up bang bang action play the video games this movie is not where you're going to find it um for negatives this film's only 64 minutes long it is super short and to me that was way too short i really wanted a lot more stuff in this film to happen the film kind of feels like it's jumping from scene to scene. Like the editing's not complete at times. Like it goes from them being six years old, then it jumps from them to be 12, 13, 14. But it does so, so fast, you really don't have time to absorb everything that's coming at you. And I think if the film was like 90 minutes long, like if there was an extra 20, 30 minutes, it would allow for the audience that's watching the film to be able to enjoy what is being presented. It's not that I didn't enjoy what, what was, you know, offered up in this film. I'm just saying an extra 20, 30 minutes might have allowed the film to be able to breathe. We might have gotten a lot more lore explained to us. We might have gotten even uh, some better action scenes, especially at the end. Um, we only get to see brief moments of John 117 becoming a Spartan. A lot of the time it's spent on the Covenant rising up and the Rebels and things like that. We really don't get that much time with John 117, Master Chief, 
all that much. I mean, we get to see him briefly, but they've got all these other side characters, and it feels like you're supposed to care a lot more about them, especially Dr. Halsey, over Chief. And I think that is a big problem. Halo is supposed to be about Chief and Cortana, and I really don't care all that much about Halsey. I'm glad that they explained that she was the person responsible for the Spartan program, but your entire film should not be solely on that when your film is called Halo, The Fall of Reach. Okay? I'm spending way too much time on a character that no one really cares all that much about and really just wants to be dead. They wanted her dead in 3, they wanted her dead in 4, and they wanted her dead really in 5. Because of all the evil and crime that she's committed. Um, the jokes that are in this film, there's very few of them, and they feel forced. Um, the film also just ends without warning, without answering a lot of questions. Like, Blue Team and Chief, they're just they're on reach, they're having a dialogue session. Chief says something, and the film just ends. And I'm just like, it just ends out of nowhere. It just ends abruptly. And you're like, what? Like, they're on reach. They're, on re they're not going to do it. They just went there to say bye to everybody that died on the planet. And that's... It, it was just a really bizarre ending. I'm just like... That's all, folks? <laughs> okay. Um, we also... And this is going to be really weird for me to have to say this in this film review. Like I said, we get to see the fall of Reach. And it's explained as to how and why. We get to see the remains. But in this film, we don't get to see the fall of Reach at all. <laughs> we only get to see a free, a few brief moments of it, of the remains, of the destruction of Reach at, at the beginning and at the end. We never see any action taking place on Reach. We don't see a battle, spaceship or on the ground. We don't get to see any of that. We don't get to see the UNSC use their technology and spacecraft fighting the Covenant in space or on the streets or in the ground or whatever. We don't get to see any of that, unlike in the Halo Reach video game. And I'm like, I understand this is based on a book, but you're going to tell me that this person wrote a book called Halo The Fall of Reach, and you're not going to show the battles and events that led from Reach being so amazing as a new NSC planet and it falling because the Covenant show up and wipe it out. Um, if, I've never read the book, but I'm pretty sure for an author to name their book The Fall of Reach, they're going to show the battles and the scenarios and whatnot as to how Reach falls. This movie doesn't do that, and I can't stress that enough. This movie doesn't show you The Fall of Reach. <laughs> so if you're expecting... This film, they have something where it shows you, kind of like in the Halo Reach video game, The Fall of Reach, you're going to be extremely disappointed like I was. Okay? So, even though with those couple negatives, I still think Halo, The Fall of Reach from 2015 is a really good movie. It is miles better. It is an actual movie. It's not a bunch of episodes cut together like Halo Legends was. I know you're probably like, wow, you're just beating Halo Legends to death. Halo Legends is good and bad in its own way, and so is Halo The Fall of Reach. Honestly, guys, if I had to pick between these two animated films, <laughs> I would constantly suggest watching Halo The Fall of Reach. It's a really good origin story for Chief and for the rest of Blue Team. Even though it's only an hour long, and it might be too short for people like me, some people might be like, you know what, it was long enough it was good length and that's perfectly fine so with that guys i'm going to give halo the fall of reach from 2015 a 9 out of 10 if you guys agreed with what i said or not please let me know in the comments section i hope you guys all enjoy um if you guys want me to watch and review for you guys halo forward unto dawn and or halo nightfall please also let me know in the comments section and i will do so i have both those films on blu-ray um i've done this in a halo legends review um, I'm not planning on doing Halo 4 Dundon Dawn or Halo Nightfall unless I get somebody that is a subscriber and requests me to do it because I've got tons of other videos I want to make. So, But if you guys do want me to, I will make time for it in the future. I appreciate you guys all watching. You guys all have a good one.